Welcome to day two of Ignite. In today's session, we're gonna be focusing on our biceps and our triceps. We've got eight exercises to complete with 40 seconds of work and a 20 second break on each exercise. And we're gonna complete four rounds. In today's session, for your reference, I'm using five kg and six kg dumbbells. You will also need a chair for your dips and your tricep push-ups too. When you're ready guys, let's do a short warm up and let's crush this. Okay, to start, we're gonna do a short little warm up for our biceps and our triceps. So when you're ready, let's go. Up and swing back. Keep the elbows nice and tight. Do this eight times. Good, easing off the triceps, well done. Then rotate the wrists. We're gonna be picking up some weights today. We're just gonna warm the wrists up, make sure they're nice and mobile. And then the forearm too. So just push down just really, really gently on the backs of your fingers. Do it four times on each side. And release, good. Release the shoulders too. Just roll them back. Four back and four forward. Well done. Bring the arms out to the side. Let's go really stretch out, mobilize the biceps. Do this eight times as well. And then back into the swing. Let's get a little bit more extended. Up and over like a tricep swing extension is included in some of my videos. Good work. And then rotate the arms around. Really nice and long. Eight circles behind, and then eight forward. And we're ready to rock the biceps and the triceps. Let's go. Okay guys, our first exercise today is a tricep push-up. We're gonna do it on the chair. And there's two variations. I'm just gonna show you each of those. The first one is gonna be on your knees. You're gonna place the hands on the chair in a narrow position, almost get them in a W shape. Then you're gonna keep the elbows nice and close. You're gonna brush the body, bring the chest towards the chair, and then push away. You're gonna to try to focus on your mind-muscle connection just into your triceps and push away. The second option is to go on your toes, okay? So on your toes, but keep your hands nice and narrow, back in that W position, and then push down, body weight down, elbows brush the body and rise up. So those are your two options. I'm gonna be on my toes, it's gonna to be 40 seconds. If you wanna try your toes first, that'd be great. And if you then wanna go onto the knees, you can do the last few seconds on your knees. But when you're ready, let's start on the first exercise, tricep pushes, let's go. Make sure you're breathing in as you go down and then out. Take your time. In and out. In and out. Just keep the elbows nice and close. Don't worry if you can't get the chest down to the chair. Just keep practicing. Keep doing this video and you'll get there. It's all about repetition, practice, consistency. And trust me, you'll get there. Down and rise. Feeling in the fire now in the back of the triceps. And last one, good work. Okay, next up, we're gonna do a wide bicep curl. So give the triceps a little bit of a break. So what I'm gonna do is grab my five kg weights and come out to the side. Chest is nice and proud. And we'll keep the elbows plugged in. Let's do it. We're not looking to come too far up. Squeezing and releasing. Make sure you lengthen the arms all the way down. And then rise back up again. Breathe in, blow out. Good job. Ten seconds to go. Work. Got this last one. Well done. 
Fantastic. Okay, next up, put the weights down. We're going to go back to the chair and we're going to work into the triceps again. So in 10 seconds, we're going to get on the chair and we're going to dip. Put your mind connection back into your triceps. Keep your hands nice and close and you want to keep the body close to the chair as well. Breathe in and out. Make sure your elbows are pointing out the back and not flaring out to the side. Great work. Just 15 more seconds to go. Oh, it's a toughie when it's body weight, isn't it? Last few though. Four, three, two, one. Relax. Great work. All right, next up, we are going to work the biceps again. We're going to sit down on the chair and we're going to do a seated preacher curl. So you decide what weight's best for you on this first round. I'm just going to go with the five, see how I feel. And up it on the second round. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to plug the elbow in, squeeze up, lengthen all the way down. Up and lengthen all the way down. Isolate the bicep. Try not to have too much movement going on in the body. Keep it nice and still. Squeeze and release. I'm starting with my left today. You start with whichever one you want to start with. It doesn't matter because we are going to change sides in a moment. Good, just 10 more seconds. Last one, pump it up and then release, good. All right, I'm gonna go on the other side now. Same weight, I found that really, really great actually, that five was perfect for me. It was sustainable throughout the whole 40 seconds. So uh, let me know in the comments which one, which type of weight you're using. That'd be great to know. All right, right side for me, let's go. Breathe in and release. job make sure that you're really lengthening all the way down so no halfway just squeeze up lengthen all the way down try to keep the elbow on the inside of your thigh you can always rest your other arm on your left leg or you can just put your hand on as long as there's no pressure or movement five more seconds and then relax perfect okay Great job. Now have a think about whether or not you're going to go up in the next round. I think I will to the sixes. In the meantime, just need one way only for our kneeling kickbacks. Okay, so what you're going to do, hold on to the chair. I'm going to go left side and start with a kickback on the left. We're going to push back and come in. Push back, come in. Now back to our mind connection into tricep area. I prefer doing these uh, kickbacks on the floor actually because you then tend to not compromise the back and also it's a bit more stable rather than bending over doing a kickback. Sometimes being on the floor you're, it's harder work and you're more stable. So I hope you can feel this one. Five more seconds. And then relax. Good. Okay. Let's go to the other side right side coming up or the left side whichever one you've chosen to do then we're going to work the biceps again and then we're done in round one so nearly there okay do the right side let's go kick back as you kick back make sure you pause for a little bit there pause and then come back in that's it you really literally can feel the tricep working at the back when you pause for a second and slow release it down. Keep the muscle under contraction for as long as you possibly can. And breathe. <laughs> Don't forget your breathing. Five seconds to go. And one more kick back. Let's do it. 
Oh, yes, perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up the other little five here and we're gonna to go to a hammer to a front curl for our biceps, all right? So this is the last exercise of round one. So round one's nearly done. Three left. Let's do the hammer curl first. Halfway up, down, turn it around, and then front curl. So just alternate between the two. Hammer to the front curl. Make sure you're not swinging all over the place. You know, don't use your body for momentum. Stay nice and still. Good work. Hammer. 15 seconds left. Nice work. Last couple to squeeze in. Let's go. Great. All right, guys. Have a little break. A little sip of water if you need to. We've got round two coming up now. On round one, did you go on your toes or did you go on your knees? Either way, give it a go with maybe switching it up a little bit. If you fancy trying it on your toes, give yourself a challenge, even if it's only two reps. All right, in position for round two, tricep presses. Down and rise. <sighs> Suck the core in tight as well as you go down. Don't drop the hips. Try not to drop anything, just your chest. Yes, beautiful work. We've got eight more seconds. Squeeze a couple more in there. Last one. Oh, brilliant. Oh, love that. I know when you're going to feel it tomorrow, so that's a, that's a great thing. <laughs> I love feeling the burn, that's for sure. All right, back to the wide curls. Knees are soft, elbows plugged in. Let's do it. Wide out to the side, and then releasing it all the way down to so nice and straight. Hopefully it's going to be a hot one. Great job. Eight more seconds to go. Three, two, one. Release. Beautiful. Okay. Back to our chair, our lovely trusted chair to do those body weight tricep dips. Keep nice and close with the hands. Make sure your elbows are going back, as I said before. In position, ready to do round two. You got this. If you need a break in between these dips, either just hold up here for a little bit, a couple of seconds, and then go back in. Or just take a seat on the chair, but literally only for a couple of seconds, and then recompose, go back in. Otherwise, keep going. So far, so good. Three, two, one. Relax, nice. Ooh, feeling the burn. <laughs> Love that, right, so. I promised myself that I'll go up, and I'm going to keep that promise. I'm going to use a whopping 6 kg. <laughs> so, starting back on the left side. Into that preacher position. Squeezing up and lengthening all the way down. If you are going heavier and you feel a little bit tired, you can always relax for a couple of seconds and then go back in. Otherwise, it's not always about heavy weights. It's about 
keeping the form and the endurance going for that 30 seconds. Three, two, one, relax, perfect. Other side, you know what's coming up now. The right side. I didn't mind that six actually, it's really, really great. Found it workable, so maybe you can go up and do the next round if you didn't this one. Let's start on the right side now. As you curl up, you can even touch your bicep to really connect with it to ensure that it's actually doing its job. Squeezing up, release down. That way you get a better, effective, more effective workout in that area. If you really connect your mind to the muscle. Four, three, Two. Woo! <laughs> I'm definitely sticking with those sixes. <laughs> I've got to say, they were a bit better for me. And I had my mind muscle connection switched on. So actually, I'm going to keep the six with me because I'm going to do kickbacks with the six as well. I'm going to super challenge myself today, going up in the world. <laughs> All right, kickbacks on the left. Let's go. You remember what I said about the hold? Try and hold out. Release in. Ooh, actually this feels better too. It was more challenging. Great job. 10 seconds left now. Let's keep pumping up. Those triceps. Last one, guys. Oh, and have a rest. Beautiful. I really like the six kg. I think it's my new best friend. <laughs> Sorry, fives. Okay, right then. We're going on the right hand side now. Get ready to extend and hold for a second. And then release back. All right, let's do it. Push. And in. <laughs> I don't know if I will be um, picking up these at the end round though. Let's see what happens. <laughs> this is round two of four, so I might have to get those little orange ones back. <laughs> okay, 10 more seconds, well done. You're doing so well. Think about your mind connection. No distractions. Last one, <laughs> release, beautiful, okie dokie. Right, question is now, do I do? Yes, of course I do. <laughs> Six kg for the hammer and the front curl. Oh, push the boat out a bit here, aren't I? <laughs> okay, when well, you're ready guys, let's do this. Hammer and then front curl. It's a really good challenge to, you know, consistently kind of do these exercises and see if you can increase your weight, even if it's by half a kg, if you have them, or, you know, progressing from, say, four to fives, five to sixes, etc. You know, you're getting stronger then, don't you? We don't always want to stick to the same weight. Last one. Good work, challenging the muscles. Round two is done. Fantastic work. <laughs> Halfway though. Okay, so round three. Let me know if you did it on your toes for the presses or on your knees. It'd be really great to hear. If you need any support, as I said in the first video, just let me know down below and I'll reply. Okay, let's do this. Round three. Down and push. Breathe in. Now this is where we really start to feel everything kicking in. 
the other two rounds for spicing things up and now this is even spicier. Ooh. Five more, Ooh, time for one more rep. Let's go. And then we oh, like it. <laughs> so, I'm gonna stick with my sixes. I'm feeling the challenge today. So, hope you are too. If not, don't worry, you can always do this video again. <laughs> Let's go. Release down and rise up. I think one of the most challenging exercises in this session today is definitely the dips for me. Um, because of the heaviest weight, you know, it's your body weight. I weigh 60 kg, so I'm never gonna pick up a 60 kg and tricep press it or anything like that. So dipping it feels so challenging. Five more seconds. Last one. Yeah, <laughs> well done. Okay, to the dips, back on the chair, shake out those arms, that helps doesn't it, give them a little ooh, shake, <laughs> in position, round three, let's do it, working arms makes me so happy because they know what the results are like, people get such great you know, results from training, isolating just the arms. And it feels good, doesn't it? Especially for us women here. Breathe in. And men too, I know. Men love to do training the arms. Ten seconds. Oh, it's getting tougher now. Last one. Oh. Ooh, fire, fire, fire. That's the city preachers, and I picked up my sixes still. Okay, curling, the bicep, lengthening all the way down. Well done. She's dying to fatigue, that is normal. We're on round three. So just have a little tiny break or change your weights, maybe. That's the tip I would give you, but keep the form, you know? Keep that form. It's all about form and technique. Mine's starting to tire now, but one more. Ah, lovely. Good. Whew. I think I'm strong on my left side, so I'm going to see what the right's going to say to me now. I'm going to plug my mind connection into the bicep so that it does sustain the whole 40 seconds. <laughs> okay, when you're ready guys, elbow plugged into the inner thigh. Let's do it. Beautiful. 10 seconds remaining. Three, two, one. Oh, great job. Shake out those arms into our kneeling extension. Starting with the left side first for me. If you're starting with the right, no problem. Grab that lovely weight and let's kick back. Mind connection to the triceps once again. Nice solid kneeling base. And if you've got any issues with your knees, just put a cushion underneath uh, the knee that's on the floor. Stick 
a nice little soft cushion or towel underneath it and it'll be fine. Do your tricep 15 seconds. And last one, then release. Good job. So far, so good. We're gonna get the end of round three, and then we've got one more round to complete. Back in on the other side now. When you're ready, guys, let's do it. Kick back and come in. I'm enjoying these sixes now. I'm not putting them down. I'm going to keep going to the end and use them in the last round as well. So I can challenge yourself. Without challenging yourself, you won't change yourself. So try to challenge yourself in good form where possible. Last two. And one. Relax. Beautiful. All right, so the last exercise of round three is coming up. Our hammer for our wide curl, our front curl even, sorry. And then on to round four, we'll have a little break in between after this one. Let's go. Hammer. And then front curl. Good, now really focus in. swing around. Be nice and solid on your, on your body. Isolate the biceps. Last one. And relax. Great job. So grab a little drink. Get that last bit of energy for our last round. Now's the time to switch weights if you want to, or if you haven't already done so, but if you have, well done. So far, I will stick with my sixes for the last one, so I want to feel the burn tomorrow. In position, tricep presses, here we go, last time. Let's do it. Down and press. Brush those arms against the body. <sighs> Exhale on the way out. <clears throat> Using your breath is also key throughout each movement, powers you through <sighs> each rep. <sighs> nice work. <sighs> oh! <laughs> Last one. <laughs> Good, okay. As promised, picking back up my sixes for that wide curl. Okay, here we go. Turn it around. Round four, the wide curl. Our last chance to do this exercise today to the best of our ability. Feels good, doesn't it? I hope you are, have um, got to this part of the video. You're in round four. If you have, let me know in the comments. Just type in round four and I'll know that you've done four rounds. I'll send you a nice little message of personalised one back. Last two reps. One more. Woo. And relax. Nice. Those lovely dips. Okie dokie. Are you ready to do tricep dips one more time? In position, round four. And go. You can 
really feeling a nice length as you rise up and stretch as you go down. So you can get down really far with your butt nearly touching the floor. <laughs> you really push up strong. Good work. Ooh. Last few reps. And one more. Push one more out. Oh. Wow. Ooh. Triceps on fire, that's for sure. Love it. That's what we should be getting to. We should be getting to absolute failure fatigue. We know we've had a good session then. That's why I put four rounds into these um, workouts because we're so used to doing three. We need to do four to make a little bit more change. Anyway, guys, hope you started with me. Last one on this left side. Need a little break, just pause a couple of seconds, bring it back up. It's good to use a weight that's sustainable, as I said earlier. Anything that's too heavy, you're going to need more rest periods. And we only have a 20 second rest, so more about endurance than, than anything, but still getting stronger. The right weight for you. Okay, right side. This is about the right weight for me at the moment. I'm going to progress up to seven soon. That's my goal. I get stronger and leaner. Not to get bigger. Don't let anyone think that you're going to necessarily get bigger on from this. It's not bigging up the muscles. Just to get nice, lean summer arms. Don't be scared of picking up a little bit heavier. Not for us women anyway. <laughs> Ten seconds to go. Oh, nice. Good work. Just release those. Okie dokie. Back to the triceps. Last time on those kneeling kickbacks. Get ready in position. Really lengthen and extend. Try to hold it for a second or just over a second. One, come in. Come in, that's it. Oh, so good. Want strong triceps and strong biceps, opposing muscle groups. Getting both sides strong. Beautiful. Ten more seconds to go. And last one. Good. Oh, I did an extra one there. Never mind. Better than one less. Better to do one more. All right. Change sides. Ultimate exercise before our last one. Okay, let's do it. So, right side, kick back, hold for a second, and release in. Let's finish strong, guys. If you completed day one yesterday, a big pat on the back for you. You can also incorporate this video with day one, which was quads and hamstrings, and make it a full hour session. Put the two together, you get an upper and a lower body workout. Last two reps. One more. And relax. Nice. Okay. Where is the other six? Here it is. Okay, last one. <laughs> Our final exercise, hammer to front curls been a really great sesh. Thank you for staying with me this far. Let's do the last one. I appreciate you being here. Good, and 
know, it's tempting to rock a little bit now, isn't it? When you're fatigued a little bit, it's tempting to, to sort of rock, but try not to. Just have a little rest and then really squeeze it up. Lengthen it all the way down. Don't compromise on your form, in other words. Last 10 seconds though. Let's push through to the end. Last one on the curl. Oh, yes. Good job. Well done. Give yourself a clap. I'm so proud of you. Biceps, triceps day, done. Let's have a quick stretch out, a cool down. When you're ready, bring the arms up and then squeeze the tricep and then slightly lean over. And you'll feel that lengthen out. Good work. Half an hour of pure biceps and triceps you did so well. Let's change. There's so much more variety coming up for you in this series, which is called Ignite. It's so we can ignite all of the muscles in our body and we work opposing muscle groups. So on our first video, we did hamstrings and our quads. In this video today, we did biceps and triceps, of course. And in our next video, we're gonna be working our glutes and our hip flexors. So be sure to join in with me on that one as well. And let's see if we can complete this Ignite Challenge together. I'll be guiding you through every step of the way. Take a nice deep breath in and rise up, blow out. We want positive vibes after a really great session. Thank you so much for joining me. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Well done and see you soon.